Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. A few weeks ago I used a potentiometer and analog input on an Arduino to control the slider on the Nexion display. In other words, I was sending data from the Arduino to the Nexion to make a dynamic change in the Nexion. I was defining the variables statically in a way and sending them up. I had a request to use a variable instead of just statically typing out the characters. And that's what this video is going to show. On the display itself, it's not really doing very much. All of the control is happening from the Arduino. There's no events tied to the progress bar or the display itself. We change the color, we change everything based upon data sent. That part is gonna stay identical. Other than the fact that I'm gonna make this wider because I'm gonna populate this with dynamic data. I'm gonna add the number that sets the slider to this um, text box right here. So it'll change based upon the value of the potentiometer. Just to show you that it's working the way it was, I've got this set up. We're gonna run this all in debug mode instead of the physical display. And what we can do is I've got it hooked up to the serial port. And you can see as I run the potentiometer up, we change the color and we set the value of the slider. Can't remember the actual values I have, but you get the idea that it works. Now we're gonna switch over to the Arduino code. I forgot there is one more change we have to make. The length of this is only 10. We're gonna add some numbers to it so it might exceed that. So click on this and go down to our length. Right here, we're gonna make it 15 just to make sure we have everything covered. Compile it. And that should be all we need to do to this. Now we'll go to the Arduino. Now on the Arduino, all we, were gonna, all we do is we read in the value of A0 and we divide it by 10 because the value is zero to 1024 and we want to reduce that to a value approximately zero to, to 100. And then if the value has changed, we store the value in this progress value. If the value has changed, then we want to change the output on the Nexion display. We were always sending the data in static ways. There was never, we were never using a variable in this. Even the variable progress bar was only used in this if statement. Otherwise, everything was static. And the question was what if you wanted to send a variable instead of static data? And I believe the question was mainly down here because when you send this command, the Arduino wants the serial print to be within quotes, as you can see at the beginning and the end. But the Nexion wants to receive the data with quotes within the data. So you have to put this backslash, which is called an escape sequence. And the escape sequence says, don't treat this like a quote. Go find the ASCII value of it, of a quote, and send that. So in other words, if we didn't have that in there, it would serial print to.txt equals, and then there would be a quote. Then it would ignore the all clear, and then it would put two quotes, or send nothing and probably give us an error. But by putting this escape sequence in here, this backslash, we can send the quotes. So now if we also want to send the value of the progress bar, we just have to figure out where to place our quotes. And what we really want to send is we want to send something like this, and I'm just going to write it out. t0.txt is equal to quote all all clear and then we would want to put the value of the progress bar or the progress value and then another quote and that's this is what it would recognize this is what the nexion would recognize as a as a legitimate statement if we cut and pasted this into there it would say all clear colon but it wouldn't put the value it would put progress value so what we want to do for here is we want to change that into a string. If you remember, it has to be a string. So we have to put string around the outside of it. And then for the Arduino to recognize it, this whole thing must be within quotes itself. 
but this doesn't make any sense. You'd have to do an addition. So we would want to add that to it. So we would take this t0.txt equal, and we need this quote to go as an ASCII value, so we need to escape it, all clear, colon, and then a space. So it's going to send this, and we're going to add the string, the progress value changed into a string. Then we also have to add another quote and this when we add this quote it has to be within quotes so we're gonna send this as text plain text right here to.txt and that will insert a quote all clear colon and then we're gonna add this converted into a string and then we're gonna add an additional quote to the end so it should come out what we should send to it should be I'm gonna make up a number let's just say it's 56 halfway through and this is what the next gen should see this first part here is what this is right here the 56 is just the progress value changed into a string, which is spelled that wrong, let me copy and paste. And then we need to add a quote on the end. Well, when we add the quote, it has to be within quotes. So now, all I should have to do is copy this and paste it right into here. And that should work in the all clear state. And then if we just take this right here, we scroll down to this one and paste it here. But instead of all clear, we want this to say run. Copy it again, put it down here. Of course, we want to comment out this line, and we want to comment out this line. And then we'll put the oh no in here. Now we're going to compile it. Oh, I have a missing character somewhere. Oh, I have, I have an extra quote. And I have an extra quote there. And I have an extra quote there. When I copied and pasted this whole thing, I must have messed up in there. It looks like the editor got this one. There we go. Now we're going to upload it. And once again, all the work is being done in the Arduino. It's just sending commands that the Nexion understands, and then the Nexion just interprets those commands. Okay, so now let's give it a shot again. Minimize this. Go to debug. Start this again. Start. Now as I adjust, you can see how it changes, and we will stretch this out, change it to a string. Now if you look at the code in here, you can see that we have to send the quotes, and that's where that backslash quote comes in. We have to surround the run and the three exclamation points, the space, the colon, the space, and the 83 within the quotes. But you'll notice that the quotes at the beginning and at the very end are not there. We go back to the Arduino. Because we're, we have to, for the Arduino to understand what's going on, we have to put a quotes on both sides of it. 
but then we also have to send the quotes and that's where we're sending it on the run and then we're adding one at the end after we present the progress value and since this is converted to a string and added to the string or concatenated is the proper term we don't have to put quotes around this It would be like if we could, we could do it this way too. We'll just make it a, a test string. I don't know if you can use test, but we'll try. Equals to E0. So this is equal to everything in front of here. So what we could do is we could do this. We could say test plus but then when we're trying to create the string within the serial print, we have to put quotes around it. So it should add t0.txt to this. Still put in that quote and then the run. And this should work too. We'll send this to it just to verify. Okay, it's done uploading. We'll go back to here. Try this again. And here's the run, and if we change this to string, it looks exactly the same. To text equal run. Um, these are the values that we're setting the colors. So it works just as we would expect. I plan on the Nexion itself also uses escape characters for some things. I, I am, I did enough questions about this. I'm planning on doing a video in a few weeks just purely on escape characters, hoping to help people understand that a little bit better. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.